Hey guys, Leslie here. Uh, today I'm gonna show you how to make these beautiful, beautiful, elegant, don't mind my furry sideburns, but these beautiful caged earrings. Uh, they are super easy to make, and they're also a follow-up to my Cracked Marvels tutorial. I have two of them, so please feel free to check them out. Link up here. Um, if you uh, like my videos, and if you enjoy my uh, crafting tutorials, please subscribe and share. If you have any comments or concerns, I really would like to get to know you guys, so they will be greatly appreciated. Um, this video, once again, it's uh, for the cage earrings. I'm also going to have well, it's three versions, um, um, three sets of earrings on how to use the cracked marbles. But the main star of the video um, are these earrings. So I hope you like them. I hope you enjoy them. And like I said, please share my video. And if you like and enjoy my tutorials, uh, please visit uh, my blog at venusbloom.com. And if you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. I'm here to listen to you guys. And um, I guess that's about it. Please enjoy. Thanks. Okay guys, let's get started. Uh, we're going to have all uh, the supply uh, lists, all uh, the supplies you need in the info box. The list of supplies that you need in the info box. Uh, I'm using 22 uh, gauge wire. You can use any wire that you like, any thickness, as long as it's pretty pliable because we are going to be looping it around uh, several times. But as you can see here, I'm using a wooden skewer and I just wrapped it around a couple times to make two little loops and it should look something like this. Okay, take up uh, the two little loops in between your fingers and you're gonna squish them down like this and then you're gonna start looping around the outside of one of the little loops or the bottom loop and you keep going and this is really simple especially if the wire is uh, you know, pliable like this one and you just keep looping around and just make sure you go underneath this little part right here um, because you're gonna have to use that eventually for um, to be able to hang the earring on a ear wire hook and see, I did this just so I could show you if you go over it or underneath, you know, not underneath it, this is what's going to happen. It's going to be a pain in the butt to take apart. But anyway, so just make sure that's all, you know, on top and you go underneath that little section. So you're just going to keep on looping like so. Again, just keep on looping and just make sure that little piece that sticks out at the top stays on top. And just like I said, keep on looping, looping, looping. And uh, it should be looking something like this. It's pretty simple. See something, um, I don't know, like a little coil, I want to say. And um, I don't know how many times I went around, how many loops there is, but. You can, uh, con you know, continue until you feel you've had enough, or um, you can also measure the marble, like so. This looks good. I think I'm gonna go for a couple more um, circles or loops, or a couple more rounds. Uh, so just to, it makes me feel a little safer because if um, the loops are not enough, then I'm gonna have to redo it, or at least try to make the loops on top of the marble and I don't feel like doing that but now once you have all the loops that you want or you think you need you can start um, adjusting the loops the little circles the little hula hoops whatever you want to call them and just um, push them down and uh, adjust and then pull like so to make sure that the bottom loops are nice and tight so that the marble stays in place. So just keep adjusting like so and keep on pulling at the very bottom just to make sure it's um, nice and uh, tight at the bottom. And so just cut the excess wire off, excess, excess wire, lord I can't talk today, 
and just make it at the very bottom just to make sure or a little swirl to keep the marble in place I think this is looking really nice and remember these are caged earrings they don't have to look like a perfect cage to me I like how it looks when it's a little bit uneven because obviously these are handmade it's not a robot making these so you want to remember that don't be too hard on yourself and oh my gosh it's not perfect it, to, in my opinion it shouldn't um, be perfect but if you can get it perfect go on do it and okay now we're gonna go to the top part and you're supposed to use some flat uh, nose wire plier thingies um, I have only the ones that have the little ridges so I put some tape on there so to prevent any of those little ridges from scratching the metal or denting it but um, I don't know I don't know if it's how well it's gonna work but this is the way I'm making the little loop to uh, hang on the ear wire hook and I want it to look similar to the cage um, that we just made for the marble so I know this is not 100% how a jeweler would uh, you know earring maker jeweler would make it but I wanted it to look this way so it can kind of like matches the cage it's kind of whimsical so I like that so now it's time to hang it up in on our wire ear wire hook and this is so all you new people or new crafters if there is one watching this um, you open the little loop at the bottom of the ear hook to the side not towards you because it does put a lot of pressure on the wire and it will break so this is the best way to do it to the side and then bend it back just like so you don't have to use this type of ear hook you can use the other one that's plain but um, I like this one and I look at how beautiful these earrings are Okay, so we're gonna go to the second pair of earrings, and this one you're gonna need um, a plain ear wire hook, and then we're gonna fold it to the side like this. Make sure it's make sure it's um, as even as possible. I want to say as flush, like how I have it right here. I don't know how to describe that. But um, I squished it a little bit so I can make it more uh, flat. So I'll introduce a little, um, I think it's called a little uh, crown cap. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But anyway, this is how it's supposed to look. And this is why I use that type of hook. Now you can use crazy glue or jeweler's glue. I like the jeweler's glue. I like crazy glue. So whatever you uh, feel more comfortable with, that's fine. Uh, put a bead of glue on there, glue on your little marble, and let it dry, put it to the side. Now for the third pair of earrings, um, we're going to grab our um, wire and fold it in like this, make a little U, and then we're going to squish it. And essentially what we want, it's like a little knot made out of uh, the wire. And it looks, it doesn't look, have to look perfect. It's just, you know, a little not to prevent uh, the little crown cap or the little cap from falling through. So cut off the little tip that was sticking out. And then introduce a little cap on the other side of the wire. Like this. And essentially, this is what the little uh, knot will prevent, or what the little knot's supposed to do. The little function of it is a. Uh, prevents the little cap from um, or the wire from going through the little cap so straighten out your wire cut it and make your little loop for the earring and I'm sorry I don't know what happened to my little footage of me actually making this little loop but it's the same um, concept the same way as a caged earring you know make the loop go around it twice with the tips of the uh, needle nose fire and just make it like this. I don't know if I'm describing it right, but um, I'm not sure like I said why I'm saying loop so many times uh, Okay, place a bead of glue onto the little cap and place your Marble on there and let it dry Add it to a little wire uh, ear wire hook and you're ready and this is what they uh, end up looking like Thank you for watching. If you like my uh, videos, please subscribe. Click here for my last video. And if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Thanks.